and it's too late. You have to come back tomorrow, right? I said, well, I don't have any money. I got 10 cents. Uh, my rent is due tomorrow. I have nothing to live you just, on. You just told I'm me you for three days. You just told me you ripped off, cor you ripped off Corvette. I got caught ripping off Corvettes for $110 worth of and stuff. And they let nice. you go, right? That's right, after I spent two hours explaining how I ripped off the other four stores over the last six months. And you just ripped off, uh, you said Woolworths. you ripped off Woolworths yeah, last night. Seven bar today, seven bars of chocolate. Seven bars of chocolate. Yeah. And you believe that it's, uh, it's I right ate three and I gave four away. And you believe it's right to steal, right? No. Then what? Absolutely wrong. Absolutely you wrong to steal. You just told me before. You, you Did I say it was right? You told me I said me it was right. necessary. There's a difference between right and necessary. Why is it necessary? Because I don't have the money to buy what I have to steal. Because the Social Service Department doesn't see fit, or the Social Security Administration doesn't see fit to give me enough money to live Excuse on. Excuse me, you're, you're a Social Security case now. Yeah. So why do you come to welfare? If they you sent me with a referral slip that I got was stolen last night, along with a billion dollars worth of original research that I've been working on for three years. Psychic research, mind control research, in a red folder. <laughs> Stuff that it was handwritten. Why don't you go downstairs, make an appointment, do it right, make an appointment with income maintenance people. For tomorrow. Fifth floor. Yeah, for tomorrow. do it right. What do I do for tonight? What do I do for rent money? What do I do for food money? I haven't eaten in three three days now. I mean, except what I steal. Except what I steal. I can't steal a chicken. I can't steal a steak. It doesn't fit in my pocket. I can only steal Hershey bars and Shiba packages of cheese and, uh, you know, cans, little cans of fruit. Mr. Hershey, there's nothing we can do for you. I know. There's nothing we can do. I'm sorry. I know you can't. Social Security can't because I'm over the maximum. You can't because it's too late. You received the check from us recently. No, I didn't. It was sent back. $147.35. I never got it. It was sent to the hotel that I was at, but I had to check out because I, did, it did, I didn't get it on the 16th. It came on the 18th, and I wasn't there anymore because I didn't have the money for the rent. So the manager sent it back on the 19th. And then... Mr. Fagan, for some reason, sent me to Social Security. I don't know why. Without any money. Without ever seeing that check. You received the check. I never received any check. You discuss it with Mr. Fagan. Don't discuss it with me. Where's Mr. Fagan? He'll be here shortly. Have a little way outside. Sure. Why not? I'll wait. I've been waiting for the last 124 days since I got out of the hospital. Waiting for something. Godot? Well, you know what happens. You know what happened in the story of Godot? He never came. And that's what I'm waiting for. Something that will never come. Equity. Justice. Justice. Under, the, under this great democratic society of ours, where everybody is equal under the law, you know. Lincoln said that, didn't he? All men are created equal. Lincoln never took an army physical, you know. You should have known that. What's equality? Equality is when somebody has and somebody hasn't, and the one that hasn't tries to rip off the one that has. And the one that has tries to keep what he's got. And there's nothing in the middle anymore. It's you either have it or you don't have it. You know, it's not a matter of middle, you know, there's no middle class anymore. There's just the, the rich and the poor. And I'm one of the poor. In fact, destitute, not poor. And I don't like the feeling. Not with 22 years of education behind me. Not with 17 years of service to the state. Not with a $22,000 plus income when I was working. Plus my private practice was more than another three to 4000 no, but after being in the hospital for seven months and eight days, up until September, and not being considered fit to go back to work and having to resign rather than being fired, because I've only got another 11 days to go until they fire me from that 17-year job. Go, go sit down. Go, go sit down. Shut up.